you're outside, you're walking along, and oh, look at that big old rat snake. This guy is actually measured about five and a half feet long. Nice, healthy guy. He's just kind of trying to blend in right now. Let's go see what happens if I get close to him as I start getting closer. Yeah, look, now he's getting a little bit scared. Now, would you call that aggressive? He's not getting aggressive, really, is he? He's just kind of getting a little nervous. See, now he's getting a little more nervous. He might even start kinking his body up here in a second if I get too close. See, if I get really close to him, if you look, my foot's like almost touching him. See? Now yeah, he did defensive. He backed up. Now look. Check it out. He doesn't want to hurt me. He's just trying to say, get back, dude. I want to get out of here. So the farther he gets away, the faster he's probably going to start moving. Isn't that cool how they move? So let's go confront him again. Let's see if he's going to get aggressive at all. There's our little dude. Okay, guy. So he just kind of stopped and froze. Oop, get closer. Let's get, get the camera right down there to him so you can see what he's doing. You'll see he'll open his mouth up at me sometimes. Oops, get the camera back on him. So you'll see my foot is right there. He's not attacking my foot. He's looking at it nervously. So look at that now. Is that is he attacking my foot or is he just curious? Looks to me like he was just curious. Yeah, see. Let's try to see what happens. And he tried to go around. He's gonna try to go up. Oh yeah. This is what they're really good at. He's trying to go around me. He does not want to interact with me, really. And there he goes the other way. And this is a wild Texas rat snake. This is not one I've had in a long time. This is a fresh, fresh one somebody brought to me. It couldn't stay where it was at. Somebody would have killed it. But, yeah. It's not exactly a aggressive or dangerous animal. All he's wanting to do is get away from me. If you notice, he's went away from me every single time. Now, what happens if I panicked and ran up here and started going, oh, snake, snake, oh no, there's a snake, ah, ah. Look at that, totally different reaction, huh? If I start really getting moving around and start, you know, freaking out, oh no, oh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna try to kill this thing, oh, I'm gonna get him. Well, oh, look, gets real defensive, doesn't he? That's all, but watch what happens if we get real close and stomping around and jumping around. Oh no, oh, it's gotta be a cotton mouth, look at that white mouth, oh no. Nope. Now watch simply what happens if I get too close. He's just gonna look. You notice when I stop moving, he stops moving. He's keeping an eye on me. Is he attacking me? Nah. He is scared. He's pretty scared right now. He doesn't know what's gonna happen. He's probably worried I'm gonna eat him or kill him. So if you're, you know, jumping around, freaking out, and uh, uh, poking at him, oh no, she even struck at me, trying to get to me. Look, he's even around on his tail. Got the tail vibrating going. He is completely defensive mode. He thinks, oh no. Something's gonna eat me. I'm freaking out. Oh, there's a snake, 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 snake. Well, you know what the best thing to do is? Watch this. You back up. Give him some room. Let's zoom in a little bit at him. See what he's doing. Let's see. Yep. See, he's still scared. Now, what happens if I, I back off? I just completely back off. I'm probably 15 feet away now. Sorry for the, being so jerky. Kind of zoomed in. I'm probably eh, 15, 20 feet away. So look. He's not coming towards me. They like to climb. So he knows if he can get up high, I can't get to him. Now look, he's starting to ease away. Isn't that kind of cool? Now let's go back over here again. Let's see what happens if we get close again. What do you think is going to happen? I think most of you know what's going to happen. Uh-huh, exactly. He got scared. And he got real scared. Watch this. You see, he's all upset right now. See, he's trying to get past me. This would be a good example, I think. Here he comes right towards me. Oh, no, he's being aggressive, right? Oh, no. He's going to get me. Oh, I'm holding still. You see what he's trying to get to? I'll show you. Underneath that trailer. He knows he's safe under there. All right, this guy's pretty wound up, right? Extremely defensive. He's been striking at me, zooming by me. He's just sitting there looking. He can get right there underneath this trailer. We're actually going to uh, pick him up by hand. I'm not going to put the camera down. We'll do it one-handed. 
with the camera rolling. Let's see what happens. See how I move? He gets upset. Oh yeah, he struck at the camera. He didn't hit me. Okay, he was actually a face strike. Now I'm starting to get my hand a little closer. Obviously he could bite my hand easily right there. Not a problem. I'm gonna get him used to that. <laughs> he struck at me, but he missed. He could hit me. He could actually bite me, see? He's well within strike range. That was a fake strike. Now he's trying to go away. Now this is when I make my move. Ah, see there? I tested him. I moved a little bit and he came back towards me. There's my hand. And there he is. Easy strike range. But nope. Is he going to strike? Nah. He's keeping an eye on me though. So every time I move my hand a little bit. Oh, uh, no, no, no. He's going to hit me. And he might bite me this time because I just moved the hand. Let's keep it real still. I'm well within strike range. So let's just see what happens. I bet if I don't move, he'll turn back around and leave me alone. Such a neat animal. They're easy to figure out. You just gotta be patient with them. They're just a small animal. And he's scared. He's extremely scared right now. Look, see what he's doing? He's actually coming towards me. Cool. Now, I'm not going to do anything real impressive. I'm just going to hold him. I'm letting him move through my hands just a little bit. This is going to be tricky with one hand. Yep, I had to move too fast. I am really in danger of being bitten right now. But if I don't move, he might let me go. So look at that. Just didn't move. And he really wants to get underneath there and get away. He knows it's safe. Yeah. He's going to bite me here in a second because he's going to get tired of this. But as long as I don't really do anything aggressive, he might let me escape. See, my hand's right here. He sees my mouth moving. Just don't move. Look at that, see? Okay, now I'm going to risk a bite. There we go. Let's get away from this boat. Move that, that trailer. Uh -oh. See, he knows what's got him. He knows I've got him. So if I just freeze, relaxes, goes away. And then I can come over here and go hold him again. Bring him a little closer and he'll turn probably towards me again. It's a process. You see what I'm doing is I'm letting him work himself through my hand. He's coming back at me. I'll let him go. Look, you talk about close. Check it out. <laughs> if this animal's aggressive or trying to hurt me, he would have done it many times. Yep, see, my hand's actually over there. But he knows I've got him. You see my mouth moving too. And he sees my camera. That big eye on the camera. <laughs> cool now I just grabbed the hold of him again he doesn't really like me touching him I kind of got to get him used to it I'll tuck the tail out he's really nervous but I'm, I'm a large predator this poor guy you gotta realize man I am many 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 times bigger than he is so yeah he is upset you know, he really wanted to get me. Easily hit my hand. He didn't really want to bite me. No. He'd really go his own way. Isn't he cool? Just standing defensively. I think my GoPro should be uh, picking up how close I am to this guy. So you can see my hand in the picture here. So my hand is pretty close. So let's just try something. coming in low. He's getting a little nervous about that hand, didn't he? Yeah, look, he's actually going away. Very cool. That was actually fairly effective. So I'm going really slow. I'm letting him move through my hands so he doesn't feel completely trapped. Uh-oh. Yeah, he twitched on that one a little bit. Let's just hold him. No, I'm doing anything to him. He's coming back. Yeah, he's 
saying, let me go. So let me go. That was a clear message that you're fixing to get bit if you don't let me go. See, all he's wanting to do is get away. And I'm going to grab him again. Move him back a little bit. See there, that first touch, when I come back to touch him like that, that got him excited. That got him a little scared. Because I wasn't very, uh -oh. see, he sees my hand. But, you know what, I'm no risk of him biting me. It's just kind of cool behavior, I think, of the rat snake. Learn a little bit of how they act. Got him by the tail. <laughs> so easy to turn him around, just grab him a little hard. He'll turn right around on for you. Let's see if I can get that tail vibrating. Oh, do vibrate the tail. I don't want to give him so many strikes, but there he goes. Isn't that kind of cool? Move my hand in front of him. Hey. See, he's actually calming down. He may not look like it. I can tell he's kind of getting used to me touching him. That poor tail, boys. That tail's really messed up. It might fall off. Poor guy. Hi, dude. I know, we're messing with you. Let me shift my position. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I took a little motion, whole body motion towards him. Oh, look at that. That was cool. He stretched his jaw a little bit at me. Do you see those teeth come out? That was cool. I'm hoping that comes out in the video good. That was kind of intimidating. <laughs> I think he was stretching his mouth though. I don't think he was doing that intentionally to be intimidating. <laughs> I've never seen them quite do that before. It's pretty cool. Definitely calmer. There you go. See, when I go above his head, this is something that'll really kind of get them upset They're above their head. Let me see if we do that mouth thing again. Where he uh, throws his teeth out. Oh, he's about ready to strike. No, maybe not. So you go to top their head. That's when they get scared. So if you go, ooh, I'll check that out. That's cool. I don't know if that's a defensive thing or just stretching. It kind of looks stretching to me. Let's try it again. Something. I don't know if we're coming down to low. I think we're going to get bit. Hmm. Perhaps. <laughs> he just turned his head a little bit. He just noticed my hand down there. Let's just see. Yeah, he's noticing my hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing my luck. Let's see what he does. I think he's just checking it out. Check that out. See? Hmm. I'll watch if I turn on real quick. Nope. Oh, yeah. How cool is that? He's really scared. So if I was going to catch him, this is what I'd do. Said, now they can't bite me, see? How would I do it if I was going to try to catch him? I'm not sure if you saw that. Let's do it. Let's do it again. Back it up a little bit. Even when they're like this, if you come back over, top their head, and you can do boom, right on top. See? Now I can gently grab him by the head. Oops. Let me see. I Man, it's hard to video this thing. So that's how I do it if I was going to try to catch him. Real, real simple. Let's let him go again. Even if I do it a couple times, he usually doesn't get too upset about it. As you notice, I wasn't hurting him. But you know, boy, if you really start moving around, Adam, this is the kind of thing they're going to do. You get really upset. See, I mean, if you start really jumping around, let's see who does that jaw thing again. Kind of mess with him a while. Been in some stress with him. You can even see his glottis all the way down that windpipe. It's got powerful muscles in the front that actually close up so they can swim underwater. And they can eat big food items. And that glottis is actually a muscular. They can stick that on the side of their mouth too, out the side of the corner, and if they have a really, really big food item, so they can uh, open that up and breathe while they have a huge food item in their mouth. Oh, sweet! How cool is that? I 
I've never seen them do that before. Not with flaring the teeth out like that. Man, I hope that comes out as good as I think it did. Okay, so let's see how it does on a hook. You know, this is probably another good method too. I've used this before. You know, you just give them a nice dark place to go. this this is cool self bagging he's upset back here he's rattling his tail at me but he's putting himself in the bag <laughs> I can help him move a little faster <laughs> see <laughs> see how cool is that I never had to touch him man then you just simply put a knot in the bag isn't that cool <laughs> <laughs> 